what kind of communication modalities do we have in the wild? Well, it really breaks down into four. And it comes down to what kind of address are we using as our destination address, believe it or not. When we are doing unicast communication, we're talking to one IP address. If you were to break open the IP packet, the destination would be one IP address. And it wouldn't be a special IP address. It would be somewhere in the range of 1 through 126 for the first octet, for instance. There are other special addresses that are out there for, let's say, multicast. Let's talk about multicast for a moment, shall we? Multicast. This would be, for IPv4, the Class D range. So we're talking 224 through 239. That is the Class D multicast range. What does multicast even mean? Well, it means sending to a group. I want you to take a look at this graphic, and we'll compare and contrast now this between unicast. When I do multicast communication, I'm sending to a group of subscribers. They subscribe via a protocol, typically with Internet Group Management Protocol, IGMP. They say, I want to latch on to that traffic stream. That traffic stream being one address somewhere in 224, 239. That's a more efficient way of delivering to a group than unicast. What you could do is, with unicast, if you wanted to send it to multiple receivers, it would be entirely possible to say, you know what? I'm going to send a separate packet to those two different things. But the problem is, when you replicate this over a large number of recipients, why don't you just look at my graphic? Let's say we have to spread a video feed to a lot of different users that are going to get pumped out via that same source. What's the problem there? There's a lot of traffic that is going to have to be replicated, and it's inefficient towards the source of that traffic stream. That's a problem, right? That's a problem. So multicast is a great delivery system when it has to go to a group. Video is a good way to go. Um, video often is distributed with multicast if it's like a corporate video broadcast or music on hold for our VoIP solution. Anycast is something else we can do. This is interesting. In this case, we have something very special going on here. The same address, the same Anycast address is owned by all three of these dots, which could be a host, okay? We're going to be generic here. That address is replicated multiple times. Sounds strange, right? And it shares a lot of the same properties as a unicast address. But it is replicated a few different times. Now, we advertise those IP addresses. And we can do that with the dynamic routing protocol. Dynamic routing protocols can advertise host IP addresses, right? With a slash 32 mask. So if this device wants to get something to the nearest or from the nearest, let's say we're asking for name resolution, it can send that request, that DNS request, up to that address, which is shared by three devices in this case. And through the magic of routing, routing will take the minimum hop count or the minimum metric and it'll send that to the nearest place based on the routing protocol metrics. So Anycast is one to nearest. Again, one to nearest communication if this is something that's new to you. Think about when you go out and rent a Blu-ray or a DVD. <laughs> okay, I know. <laughs> might, might be a little too late for that. But you're going out and you're going to rent a movie something I used to do a lot more than I do today. 
I'm not going to drive 5,000 miles or 2,000 miles. I'm going to drive five miles. I want to get my information from the nearest repository. OK. One more, broadcast. Broadcast communication is generally thought of as inefficient. It has its purpose. What you're going to see is that when we broadcast an IPv4, and by the way, IPv6 doesn't have broadcast, the IPv4 broadcast is 224, or excuse me, 255s all the way through. Let's move that so you can see it a little bit better. That's the broadcast IP address for IPv4. IPv6 doesn't have one. It's inefficient. But sometimes we want to get it to the group, and IPv6 will send it to a group via multicast. So multicast is kind of the long-term solution for our communication needs.